lab explanation for the empirical formula experiment. Amanda and I created a video that's pretty clean, and the lab experiment itself, the explanation of the lab manual is also pretty clean, but I want to go through a little bit of this just to help you out just a, a little. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to do this for every experiment, but I'm going to do the best I can. So the goal of this experiment is to find the empirical formula of zinc iodide. Right, and so the empirical formula is going to be. I gotta find this pen. There we go. ZNXIY. The measurements that we've given you. So we did the experiment and we actually made measurements. We've given you, if you look on page 75, the flask plus zinc, the flask plus zinc plus iodine, the beaker. We've given you all this. So the idea is you're gonna take some zinc, put it in a flask, weigh it, add some iodine, weigh it. And you're going to re let it react, add some methanol, and cook it until the iodine all reacts. So a couple of assumptions you're making. You're assuming that all the iodine you put in reacts. And so that's a big assumption. But there's, it's reasonable because the iodine has color. And when it's gone, it'll be colorless. Right? You're also assuming that all the weight that was lost between here is zinc. But again, it's a reasonable assumption. So if you turn to page 76, once you've done the experiment, or we've done the experiment, you're working up the data. Page 76 has data, for example, uh, workup data, mass of the zinc reacted. And if you look at the data over here, it's really going to be the difference between A minus D. From there, you can get to moles of zinc using molar mass. All right, the next line down is the mass of the iodine. And the mass of the iodine, again, the only iodine you have is here. This is going to be B minus A. And again, you're assuming that all the iodine you put in reacted, all right? Once you have the mass of iodine, you can get to moles of iodine. And then, of course, if you remember empirical formulas, and the lab manual has some good examples of that, what you do once you have the moles of each, you divide each by the smallest, whatever the smaller of the two numbers is. And then you may have to play with it. You may have to multiply it or something. But that should give you the formula of zinc iodide. Then you can look up the actual formula and see how you did. All right, so hopefully that helps a little bit with the calculations. The video should help. I'm not going to guarantee I'm going to do stuff like this for every lab, but I'm going to try. Have a good time working up the data. Uh, we had a good time making the videos.